All right, so today in this video, I'm going to clone the entire Spotify.com online web player. So the website that we are about to build will have all the features like the web player, the ability to change the songs, increase and decrease the volume, change songs and do all that cool stuff. And we will also clone the entire UI of Spotify as well. And for this one, we are going to use an AI tool and we are not going to write a single line of code. So by the end of this video, we'll have a fully functional Spotify website up and live with the web player, ability to play songs and all that cool stuff now without wasting further ado let's jump straight in all right so this writer is lovable.dev and this is the platform that we're going to use for today's video and for starters lovable.dev is like a online ai powered coding tool that you can use to build complex web apps by giving simple text prompts so you could go ahead and tell i want to build uh, this kind of an application and give all the instructions and all the features that you want and lovable will write all the code for you and you can go ahead and test it out deploy it and do all that cool stuff so the first thing that you got to do is to sign up for a new account at lovable.dev and i'll go ahead and enter a prompt in here and it says create spotify clone with web player and all the related functionalities and as for songs or music use a pub Public API. Now this is going to the prompt that I'll give and I'll go ahead and hit enter and let's see what lovable.dev or this AI tool comes up with. So this is the only prompt or the initial version of the prompt that I'm going to give and let's see how far AI can take things with just this prompt. So let's wait. All right. So lovable is done writing the code and let's see. So let me quickly go ahead and open it up in a new tab. And as you can see, this is the prompt that I gave create Spotify clone with web player and all the related functionalities. And this is what the AI has generated for us. And let me, oh, I mean, all right, so let's see. So it seems like Lovable has used the Napster API to implement the music playback functionality. And let's see if it really works or we'll have to go ahead and give subsequent prompt. For example, let's say a bar song, I'll click on this one and I'll click on the play option and I can see the timestamp and all that. Wow, it works. I don't know if you can listen to the music. I'll just try. Seriously, dude, I just went ahead and asked it to clone, uh, let's say Spotify and implement the music playback functionality. And here we have a fully functional website. <laughs> oh my God, this is seriously cool, man. We have top tracks, new releases, and the UI of the website looks exactly the same. And uh, let me quickly go ahead and try out a different one. I had some help. Click on play. It works. So we have all these album posters in here, the name of the song, the artist and all that. And we also have this volume slider. So let me go ahead and see if it really works. And as you can see, the volume slider works too. I can increase and decrease the volume. And next up, let's just go ahead and see if we can search for a song. Let's say night. Hit enter. What? Seriously? Night moves. Uh, this is seriously cool man <laughs> i just went ahead and give the ai this prompt right here create spotify clone with web player and all the related functionalities and as for songs and music use a public api and we have in the first version itself everything is pretty much working and all the time every time i create a app using the ai I'll have to give instructions multiple times and AI will get a lot of things incorrect and I'll have to go ahead and fix it. But this time, this is totally a game changing one, I guess. So all I had to give is like ask it to clone Spotify and here we have it. And if I go to the library page, well, we don't really have that page, let's say. So yeah, that's it. We literally cloned Spotify and the web player and all the related functionalities are actually working. And in fact, we can go ahead and search for songs as well. And the, it's working. So it, behind the scenes, it's using the Napster API and we have the song names, the artist name, and also the thumbnail or the poster of the album as well. Cool, man, this is seriously awesome. All right, so this is how simple it is to create a Spotify clone by giving only one simple text prompt, all right? So I opened lovable.dev, I get, went ahead and gave the prompt and wait for about two minutes, I guess, and the AI was done writing the code. And here we have a fully functional Spotify clone with the ability for music playback, selecting music, searching for music, increase and decrease the volume. 
move forward and backward pretty much all that features work and yeah this one is interesting one for sure and this is how simple it is to create a web app right now i went ahead and tried to clone spotify right but if you want to build any other kind of application these ai tools like lovable.dev or data button replit agent cursor ai windsurf ai all these tools are here to help you and you can simply go ahead and give a simple text prompt and have it write the entire code, debug it and thankfully we did not really encounter any error while trying to develop this uh, Spotify clone but even if you encounter any error, the AI will automatically fix it for you and I mean all you gotta do is to give the instructions and now what are you waiting for? You can just go ahead and give all the requirements and you can go ahead and start building your next SaaS application and if you want to view more videos like this in the future, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and I'll see you in the next one. One.